Hello viewers, welcome to my channel, I am Hashem Ali Khan. In this video, I am going to explain you the two topics in Tally ERP 9. The two topics are, what are the steps involved in creating a go-down? And the steps involved in creating units of measure in Tally ERP 9. So very frequently in examination, a question will be, a short question will be asked on the steps required for creating go down and the steps required for creating units of measure. So watch the video till the end. It's a small video so that you can be able to write in examination with confidence. But before that, I suggest my viewers to take a screenshot of the notes which I have written on the board so that you can be able to write it, jot it down and before examination, if you just brush, brush up those points, confidently you can write in examination. So take the screenshot of the notes from the board. Ha. So now I'm going to explain you about the go downs. Actually, Godown is a place where all the stock items are stored. So Godown tracking can also be done with the help of Tally ERP 9. So how to create the Godown here step by step I'm going to explain to you. But before that, the Godown option is not by default available in inventory info. You have to bring that Godown option by following some steps. The first step is, first of all, you are to go to F11, that is features of the company. In that features of the company, select inventory info. From that inventory information, inventory features, sorry, inventory features. From that inventory features, put yes for maintain multiple go downs. Put yes, click yes for maintain multiple go downs. When you click yes, automatically the go down option will appear in inventory info. So without going and without writing that yes, we will not get the go down option in our inventory info. So first we have to bring that inventory in inventory info. So what are the steps? Creation of go down in single mode. Two modes are there, single mode and multiple mode. So what are the steps in single mode and what are the steps in multiple mode I am going to explain you. First of all single mode. Again, under single mode we have simple mode and <clears throat> advanced mode. So in this single mode only we have two options called simple method, simple mode and advanced mode. So under simple mode step number one, six steps are there. The first step open tally ERP 9 as usual second step under company info under company info click the select company click the select company and select any company of your choice the company must be created first the company must be created then click on inventory info so first step open tally ERP 9 second step uh, go to company info then click the select company. Select the company of your choice which should already be created. Thirdly, click on inventory info. So under inventory info, under category gateway of tally. Now under the inventory info, click on go downs because already we have created the go down option. So now the go down will appear in inventory info. Click the go down, then click on create under single mode, single go down. So after clicking the go down, then you will get create. So click the create. After clicking on create under single go down, you will get a go down creation screen. You will get a go down creation screen. In that go down creation screen, fill up the fields, then click yes. Click on yes. That's all to accept. In this way, the go down is created under single mode and simple method under single mode and simple method the so six steps are there now i am coming to create the go down in advanced mode advanced mode will have some additional fields 
additional information of inventory can be generated if we make advanced mode of inventory now first step click f12 configuration given on the extreme right hand side of the screen in the go down creation screen so first of all in order to make advanced option first of all f12 click on f12 which is given on the extreme right hand side of the screen in the go down creation screen then select uh, set yes now some fields are there where you have to press yes and where we have to click no i am showing here step number two set yes to provide aliases along with name to provide aliases along with name name aliases will be given for that press yes then set no for provide language aliases for name for language aliases for name just to press no and set yes for provide addresses for go down under inventory category so first yes then no then yes these are the settings you have to make right after that go to gateway of tally screen and click on f12 configuration shown on the right side then what will happen step number four click on accounts inventory info accounts inventory info you will get master configuration dialog box so in this set yes for allow advanced entries here dialog box you will get in that dialog box you will read out right yes then with this an additional field allows storage of material is added to the go down creation screen step number five go to gateway of tally then inventory info select inventory info then select go downs then create under single go down create under single go down fill all the fields and click yes to accept so again we have six steps involved in advanced mode here it is single mode here it is advanced mode simple mode and advanced mode now next one is creation of go down in multiple mode so under single mode we have simple and advanced here now i am coming to the multiple mode so how to create the go down under multiple mode here again six steps are there step number one open tally erp9 as usual second under company info select uh, click the select company click the select company and select the company of your choice which should be already created then click on inventory info then under gateway of tally then click on go downs under inventory info then click on create under multiple go downs create under multiple go downs click on yes or press enter to accept that's all so these steps easy steps are applied for multiple creation of go down multiple go downs that's all so this is the so these are the steps required for creating the go down under single mode and multiple mode under single mode we have simple mode and advanced mode that's it now i'm going to explain you about the steps required for creation of units of measure for creating units of measure this question is also frequently asked in examination regarding the procedure the steps required for creation of measures in uh, units of measure the units of measure is classified into two types as usual the first simple unit of measure and second compound units of measure so both the methods i'm going to explain you how to create simple units of measure step one see here open tally erp9 as usual the first step is opening tally erp9 second click on select company click on select company and select any company of your choice third one click on inventory info same steps first step open tally erp9 second select the company of your choice third click on inventory info then fourth step click on units of measure option so in this inventory info you will get units of measure option 
click that unit of measure option then click on create you will get a unit creation screen with various fields to be filled in so here you will get a screen which shows various fields which you have to fill up for creating the unit of measure that's all these are the steps involved in simple mode it is a simple unit of measure now compound the unit of measure compound means combined two simple uh, units of measure are combined together that is called compound unit of measure so how to create a compound unit is a relationship between two simple units two simple units are there we combine those two simple units to make a compound unit of measure to create compound unit firstly we should create two simple units for example if you want to create a compound unit pieces and numbers pcs are the pieces and nos are the numbers now then you need to create two simple units that is pcs and nos the so two simple units of measure you have to create now the steps for creating compound unit of measure are again we have five steps here first step open the tally erp9 as usual second step under company info click the select company option then select the company of your choice then click on inventory info as usual then click on units of measure then step 5 click on create and then create any two simple units for example create pcs and numbers so select two simple numbers two simple measures then combine you will get the compound unit of measure so this is a short video in which i have explained you how to create the go downs and how to create the units of measure inshallah next video i'll take up the next topic in this unit